Hey there, West of with Dove Development and Consulting. I want to give you a summary of what you can expect over the next several days and a daily dose of leadership. But before that, I want to call attention to something that I, I released. I don't remember if it was Friday or Saturday. I think it was Saturday because I just wasn't going to compete with the whole mess of Black Friday. Um, but for um, Shop Local, Small Business Saturday, um, and, and Cyber Monday, Cindy and I released um, just a special offer on our uh, the book we were able to contribute to several months back discover your team's potential, we made an offer and we're going to give a code both for um, a complimentary or at no cost, a Kindle version of, of that book um, and a discount code where somebody can save up to 300 bucks on our virtual courses just for purchasing at regular price, a, cop, a hard copy, an autographed copy of Discover Your Team's Potential. So if you didn't see that, wherever you're watching this message, you should be able to get a link to watch that video and see the details and go back and take advantage of that. It's good through it. As I record this, it is a little bit after 6 p.m. on Monday, December 2nd. That that offer is good through midnight tonight. After that, um, we're taking away. We can't give away everything. We've got to pay rent or, or house payment. We've got to buy groceries and greedy things like that. So we need to make some. But we wanted to offer that just to in the spirit of the whole Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday. Now, with no further ado, over the last several weeks, um, really dug into some stuff um, that Mark... Um, Chris Hogan talked about during the Live to Lead um, presentation that he did just a few, several weeks ago now, almost two months ago. Um, he talked about servant leadership, and I walked through in a daily dose of leadership several different things, both that it takes to become recognized as a servant leader, but also some of the tangible results we can expect to receive and, and really earn when we display that on a consistent and intentional basis with genuine um, steps in our process and our, our team knows that, hey, we really mean it, it's not manipulative because that will backfire. Now, where we're going to go over this next couple, probably a week, maybe two, I'm going to dig into the whole idea of recruitment. Um, you know, we're, um, we hear all the time, especially in the skilled trades fields, we're in a labor shortage. We don't have enough people to fill the open positions. Now, I just had an executive committee meeting today, um, serve on our local workforce development board on that, probably going to be taking the vice chair role with that group um, coming up next year. But um, we always have those conversations about what do we need to do to increase our workforce. And, and some of the work I do still today is in recruitment and helping companies bring people in and find the right people and so on. About a year ago, in our Leading at the Next Level, but also in our um, Executive Leadership Elite Think Tank, um, Cindy and I did two different lessons that was really focused on employee engagement and retention. And we're going to put something together. We're working right now on a half-day session that we can take into organizations that really goes into recruitment, retention, and culture that really marries all three of those things together. So over the next couple of days in a daily dose of leadership, you're going to get a snapshot of what that recruitment really looks like. But it's not about how can I pay the most money up front. It's not about how can I be the most visible on any of the job search engines out there. It's really about how do we make sure we get the right people that fit the company culture and, and so on. So it really stems back to some of that retention and culture that we, we talked about a year ago in those other two lessons, but it's going to marry together. Now, a, a scenario just before recording this video, I'm reading in a SHRM article, Society for Human Resource Management, that I've got a certification through. It talks about how so many companies today are, are doing less annual raises than they are increasing the wage that they're bringing people into the company for. So in many cases, what's happening is the person that's been with the organization for a long time, they're tried, true, and tested, and they're just the, the right people, and they're, they're, the, they're the contributors, they're getting minuscule cost of living increases. They're not getting a lot of performance adjustments and so on. Their raises are small. But the people that they're bringing in new that aren't tested, that don't have the background, that don't have the experience, that they don't know if they fit the culture, they're often throwing the kitchen sink at them to bring them in the door. And I've seen that in local companies as well, where instead of really developing the skill set, even if it's entry level and working hard to develop them internally, they'll throw multiple weeks of vacation or thousands of dollars in signing bonuses and all these crazy things at somebody that gosh, they might just be chasing that extra dime on the dollar and they might not stick around as opposed to taking care of the folks that have been there for a long time. And this article goes on to say that 
However, in a short-term focus on minimizing labor costs, that could backfire. If wage structures aren't adjusted to reflect higher pay for new hires, employers are likely to see higher turnover as existing workers discover that younger and less experienced colleagues earn as much as they do or more. And it's it's somewhat of an epidemic. And what I'm going to talk about over these next several lessons in A Daily Dose of Leadership really digs into that. How do we make sure that we're recruiting effectively, but it's not just throwing money at people. It's not just how do we buy them? How do we make sure we recruit the right people for the right reasons and we grow them effectively, that we retain, retain them, and it builds toward our overall company culture so we can win long-term and immediately. So that's where we're going to go. A little bit longer le- a message than I intended, but hope you enjoy it and uh, look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Have a great day. God bless.